video with commentary week 13 training i actually get the film some squatting and deadlifting uh back to trying to work these back in very slowly um so if you're just filming a couple sets um just so i can kind of talk about it and kind of see hopefully how i progress over the coming weeks um, and months trying to build this back up um after the little low back issues that i've been having so my I basically have not squatted or deadlifted or done anything that's directly loaded my spine uh, for six weeks. I'm not going to lie, my, my back actually goes really good. Um, I know that's not an indicator of anything, uh, but because if I haven't been loading it like that or lifting heavy like that, uh, it probably should feel kind of good. Um, but I would say that uh, between the Cairo and the soft tissue work and then some of the PRI breathing stuff that I've been doing, I've got it feeling pretty good. Pretty good. Movement patterns seem to look really well uh, on this first day back. Weights are really, really, really light. Uh, only working with about 115 on both lifts for five sets of 10. Um, it's like I said, it's not heavy really right now. The first two weeks, it's just going to be like ingraining those uh, movement patterns back and just trying to keep them as perfect as possible. And um, again, make sure that there's no pain. Um, which I'm happy to say that there was zero pain. It actually felt really good. So that's at least a good start. Uh, we'll see a little bit more on week four because by week four, I should finally be back to about 50% weights. And that's when I'll be able to kind of make a determination of how my progress has been and is going and then how I can progress from there. Um, so my goal is to basically like, say get to about 50% numbers and then just slowly chip away uh, with more sets and reps again. Um, kind of adding 20 to 30 pounds at a time um, and then taking deload weeks or back down weeks as I needed um, because I'm obviously progressing pretty linearly um, and eventually it's going to burn me out. So, got on the shirt um, this week. I know I've been talking about like my right pack giving me some problems, um, but by the time I got up to two plates, it felt fine, so I decided to get up to 300 raw and then put the shirt on and try to I really originally wanted to try to get into the low to mid fours for a nice good smooth single but anyway, the way my pec was I probably should just play it safe so I changed the game plan to just try to touch with a little bit less weight than I did uh, two weeks ago and I managed to get a touch with 395 it was pretty smooth um, and very happy with and I also managed to airboard triple that um, the set prior to that so I think I'm getting better in the shirt um, we'll just have to see uh, as I mentioned in my training log over on Elite FTS, I had planned to do the March Illinois State Meet 3 APF and then do uh, Nationals, APF Nationals, in May and then do the AWPC, the Drug Tested Worlds or whatever, in September. Well, I ended up finding out this past week that uh, one of my really good friends from Purdue, really technically two good friends, him and his fiance are getting married the weekend of Nationals. So that's out of the question. So with that out of the question, Worlds is out of the question. And so since I'm not going to be able to do either of those, doing the state meet is entirely pointless because I was only doing that to qualify because um, I haven't competed drug tested in about three and a half years or so. Um, and I have never competed drug tested through the APF, so I needed to do that to be able to be eligible. And uh, so that pretty much scrapped that whole idea. So well, my training is kind of in limbo land. I'm still looking to train um, in the shirt. I think I'm just going to try to hit an APF meet over the summer. Uh, I've got one kind of eyed out, but I need to kind of play it by ear probably the next month or so and just see how my body feels and feel if I feel like making a good run and push for that because if I, my body feels pretty strong raw, um, I may also try to do a raw meet over the summer as well. Again, we'll just have to play it by ear. So, dynamic effort lower day. Basically, I'm training back in the garage. I was training at the rec. Um, that day doing bodybuilding stuff but now I can be back in the garage um, just doing regular speed work 12 doubles with the squat bar and mini bands which isn't much but like I said my weight cap is 115 so the goal is just to get in a lot of good reps and grain that squat pattern and just try to be explosive um, then sumo pulls is much the same thing basically just take in I think the bar weight was 40 kilos so that's 88 pounds and then doubled mini bands which again probably gave me maybe 120 ish at the top I'm not really sure I tried to approximate as best I could but as you can see the bar speed is phenomenal 
Um, technically, it's pretty solid as it should, but what I liked was I got a lot of good first reps in. Um, it felt pretty good. So next week it gets bumped up. You know, I'll probably be around like 115 plus a double mini bands, um, and just trying to keep that speed up on both the lifts um, as I can. And dynamic up for upper day. I mean, nothing crazy. Just six triples with the Swiss angle bar. It's the final week of this wave at 165. Uh, I thought my speed looked pretty good. The peck ended up feeling fine. So whatever I did, I think it was just a uh, not even a tweak. I think just a cramp. Kind of got to it. It does feel a little iffy some days. Doing random things. It feels like it might tighten up, but I, I think it's okay. I mean, if I'm pushing loads the way I have been, I think I'm all right as long as I don't think stupid. I'm just listen to my body, um, which I've done a lot better job at more recently. Um, then a workup set at 225 here for five. I wanted six, but I felt out of splatter. I wasn't gonna push it, um, especially with the way the pec had been feeling the past week. So I just cut it off at five reps, and I mean, it's still a rep PR. So uh, I mean, I'll take it. Um, this bar really sucks, especially with the double chains up, the two chains per side. And then I hit my high rep sets. I barely missed 20 on my third set. I managed to get 19. It's a huge improvement from two weeks ago because last week I didn't do them. Um, you know, I got four extra reps across the board. I'm pretty happy with that. So, again, I don't really know what my direction is. Plans to probably do a meet in the venture, but at least keep up with my training. Um, of things are at least going well. I feel good. So, uh, basically, it's more of a rehab post. Thanks for checking in. You can keep up with everything over at EliteFTS.com.